Hello, welcome to Board Game Base Coats, and this is an unboxing of Tiny Towns Fortune. Now, this is an expansion to the original Tiny Towns, which is a great puzzle game that I enjoy, so I was really looking forward to this one. Now, the original comes in a huge box, and uh, this is quite a big box too. Actually, I sadly can't imagine keeping this box um, or the insert inside, uh, unfortunately. So I really do wish this had come in a smaller package, but the package set here certainly is, is nice. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we've got inside. And first off, we've got the rule sheet. Now this is called Tiny Town's Fortune, so the uh, special point of this set is money. And it looks like, uh, yeah, lots to do with uh, money. And I hope that this does not add undue complexity to the game. Uh, it looks like all of the new building cards, uh, or most of them, have something to do with the money as well. And uh, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of money. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in to the rest of the components. Looks like there was some shifting. Uh, the game now comes with player boards. Now I'm a big fan of player boards for most games. Uh, this one I really didn't feel needed needed one. Um, but with this new money mechanic, um, looks like it has reminders of how to do some exchanges here and. If there was one thing about the original um, that really made it difficult was that because it's a puzzle type game and you've got to exchange cubes and fit in buildings, um, it's very possible to make mistakes. Um, so I hope that this money mechanic um, introduces a way to sort of recover um, or to do some extra manipulation so that um, you aren't trapped. Uh, so much, um, especially in the version uh, where other players can choose uh, the uh, materials. Um, you can sometimes get to this this place where, wow, you you really have uh, uh, little control. So maybe this mon whole money thing um, is just another way to introduce choice or a way to do some catch up. Um, I haven't really read the rules, so. I don't know, but uh, that certainly is my hope. If it's just a victory point thing, uh, that seems like uh, it's not so important, but uh, we'll go ahead and check it out. So, those are punched out. Let's go ahead and check out the wooden tokens. Um, looks like we have some extra cubes in here uh, to match the cubes from the original. Um, but the main event, of course, are these coins. Now, uh, they feel painted on, so whenever I see painted on components, my biggest concern is that um, they'll scratch off and fade, but uh, uh, they are just coins, so I'm sure they'd work just fine even if they were. The main event for me, of course, is the cards, so I do love the cards. And it looks like we've got a big old stack here, and uh, yeah, two, two of each type of card. Uh, including the set and a whole lot of the special cards. Now, what I really like about the game is that, you know, you get one of each colored card and uh, so the game is different all the time. Uh, here are the uh, farm type cards. Here are the factory uh, type cards. Here are those special cards. Now, in the original, you're dealt two and you pick one um, and that's pretty much the one you get. Um, but because there are so many of these special cards, I feel like there should be a way to get more. Now, if I remember right, there there was one special card that allowed you to get another one, but um, I feel like it should be part of the regular game, so maybe there's a house rule or maybe a version in this set. Um, those are the in-type cards. These are the religious-type cards. And these are the shop-type cards. And these are the what I think of as the decorative type cards. Here we've got a statue and a mine. So yeah, cards for me are definitely the high point for the for the game. And now we've got a score pad. Um, now the original came with one, but this one looks like it has a 
has a spot for the coin, so wow, I hope it's just not a victory point only only thing. <laughs> Um, but, you know, uh, another another path to victory is always, always nice. So and that wraps up this one. I hope uh, you found it helpful. So thank you for joining me. And you all have a great day. Thank you.